أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن دونه ما جنتان فبأي My name is Hamida Adibanjo. Welcome to IBT. IBT is the program that's designed to inspire you, educate you, and entertain you. IBT is brought to your way every Friday on Silverbed TV, 3 o'clock p.m. to 3.30, and on YouTube every Saturday from 10 a.m. We're going to be kicking off the program as usual with iTrades, but before we continue, let us take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is IBT and the show has just begun. On iTrends today, Black Panther star actor Chadwick Boseman dies of cancer. Boseman's publicist, who confirmed his death on microblogging site Twitter, disclosed that the actor who rose to screen prominence as the star of Black Panther died from a cancer he has been battling since 2016. According to official statements, Boseman died in his home with his wife and family. Until his death, the actor had not publicly disclosed his health status despite featuring in several movies while going for chemotherapy and surgery. The statement reads, It is with immeasurable grief that we confirm the passing of Chadwick Boseman. He was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in 2016 and battled with it these last four years as it progressed to stage 4. A true fighter, Chadwick persevered through it all and brought you many of the films you have come to love so much. From Marshall to The Five Bloods, August Wilson's Marini's Black Bottom and several more. All were filmed during and between countless surgeries and chemotherapy. Up next on iTrends, Lagos schools to reopen in September, says Sonwolu. The governor in a regular briefing on the state's COVID-19 status said tertiary institutions in the state will reopen from September 14. Primary and secondary schools are also tentatively scheduled to reopen from September 21st. This decision is not cast in stone and is subject to review of our ongoing modeling and what procedure comes out from the Ministry of Health, Sawolu said. Lastly, on iTrends. 
last month to sanction officer for extortion. The Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, on Sunday, 23rd of August 2020, announced that it will sanction its officer who was caught in a viral video extorting one Mr. Meshak. LASMA official Mansour Atakinyele was caught on tape extorting one Orolugbade Meshak of 5,000 Naira, claiming that the victim contravened the law. LASMA, however, in its findings, explained that Mr. Orolugbagbe was trying to merge into a lane when he was accosted, as he was not driving against traffic as Monsurat claimed. The traffic authority added that while Monsurat puts the organization in bad light, she will be sanctioned in line with the provisions of the public service rules. That will be all on today's episode of iTrends. Please do not forget to join in in the conversation and share your views on our Instagram page, iBeauty Inspire, and on YouTube, iBeauty Islam. Coming up next, inshallah, on the program is iMenu. But before we continue, let us join Abdurrahman Idris for Apps and Gadgets Review. The show continues. Do not go anywhere. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdurrahman Idris and you're welcome to Apps and Gadget Review. Today, we'll be looking at the app called Ayah of the Day. With this app, you can memorize the Quran one ayah at a time. This app is user-friendly and you can select from various themes of your choice. With this app, you can bookmark your favorite ayah to read later or download and listen to the verse. So, what are you waiting for? Download this app today. So, we'll be looking at another gadget today, and that is the Islamic audiobook. We as Muslims need a daily interaction with the teachings of Islam. So, why not get an Islamic audiobook for yourself to enable you listen to the teachings of Islam with ease? There are various Islamic audiobooks for adults and for children to enable every one of us get closer to the teachings of Islam. And that will be all for today. But before I leave, as usual, I'll be dropping some Islamic handles on Instagram so you can follow for inspiration and divine teachings. You can check out Ahlul Bayt underscore post on Instagram for divine Islamic teachings. I still remain your brother, Abdurrahman Idris. And until I come your way again, stay safe. Masala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today seems to be a very beautiful day. My name is Maria Mustafa and today we'll be making omelette. So my omelette, you know, involves a lot of things. A lot of things will be going on in my omelette. So I'll be using um, Irish potatoes that has been grated, carrots, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, oil, flour, sardine, Spring, or, um, spring onions, onions, scotch bonnets, tomatoes, eggs, and you know, spices. We'll go on a short break now. When we come back, we'll start with the making of the omelette. Yeah, you're welcome back. So let's start with the making of the omelette. So I'll be getting a large bowl. So I'll break some eggs in the bowl. So I'll be adding the scotch bonnet, some onions, some spring onions, some carrots, the green and yellow bell peppers, I'll mix together. I'll be adding some salt, some cubes, then you mix together some flour gets mixed together then the sardine so you keep mixing after adding the sardine 
So you add some oil. Okay, so this should be on the fire for about you know five minutes um, for one side and five minutes for the other side. So, so I'll break into two to serve. So my omelette is ready. So you reduce the amount of mixture that is going into the pan so that it won't break along the line. But if it breaks, that's still good to go. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, what's your name? Assalamu alaikum. This is Adam Hauzea. Allah, my question for you is what is the meaning of the word jihad? Jihad. Jihad means that you take a, a walk from another place to another. That is a jihad. Taking a walk from one place to another. In general contest or in the societal contest, economic contest or Islamic contest. It's in a, Islamic contest. So, my question for you is Have you heard of the word jihad before? No. Jihad, eh? Tibbari? Tibbari. Okay. So, if I ask you what is the meaning of the word jihad, what would you say? What? The meaning of the word jihad. Jihad. Hard. Hard. What they have? They have. They have. Too much jihad. Jihadi on what you need, be rule alone. Only Jihadi attended to Batu Shisu John or long. Anyway, it's more major like Cosino and your conveyor. Antony Beryl, I told the tune, Totu, Totun Shaka, the Kilek. To John or to long. It's the word of God, but as you say it, it. They refer to jihad. It's a Muslim. Claim something. Uh, I know you have heard of it before now. Jihad. I say jihad. Is it a God? God, Jesus. Is it God, Jesus, something? Jesus, something. <laughs> Right Foods Limited, the makers of this uh, product, beautiful, fearless energy drinks, right, and biggest sausages, they want me to give you this for being a part of the segment. What would you say? Exactly. No, I don't do that. Alhamdulillah, and that's it for today, inshallah. Yeah, yeah, so much interesting answers and the correct meaning, the correct meaning of the word jihad is striving or to strive. Uh, but the broader meaning, if you want to expand it, means to strive on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with anything and everything that we may have. Jazakumullah khair and to Right Foods Limited, we are grateful. We thank you. We love you. We enjoy your products. We say thank you for, for sponsoring this segment, for being there. Um, may Allah reward you abundantly and continue to make you grow. Till I see you next time on I Questions. I am Abdul Alim Ajin Fuja. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome to the Arabic Tongue Twister, and this is still IBUT TV. My name remains Abdurrahman Idris, and as usual, you know, we go out to the street and ask our Muslim folks, tell them some Arabic words and see how fast they can say them five times. The word for today is Al Ashahu Qabla Al Ishahi. You know, it's a saying from the Holy Prophet Muhammad, advising us that it's better to take our 
dinner before he shot. So let's go out to the street and see how people are going to fare. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So um, the word for today is al ashahu qabla al ishahi. So can you say that as fast as you can five times? Al ashahu qabla al ishahi. 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 Al ashahu qabla al ashahu. 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 Very good, very good. I can see that dad is really good with all these duas. So yeah, it's in the blood. Al ashab, kabu ashab. Al ashab, kabu ashab. Kabu ashab, kabu ashab. Kabu ashab, kabu ashab. Kabu ashab, kabu ashab. Kabu ashab, kabu ashab. Okay, al ashahu qabla al ishahi. Al ashahu qabla al ishahi. Ali ashau kabila li shai 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 Atakbir Allahu akbar Ala sahu kabila li shai Ala sahu kabila li shai Ala sahu kabila li shai Ala sahu kabila kabila li shai Muriko kini avec be koli bakon Okay sir go Ali ashau kabila kabila li shai Ali Asaw Kobla Ali Nsai, Ali Asaw Kobla Ali Nsai, Ali Asaw Kobla Ali Nsai, Ali Asaw Kobla Ali Nsai. Takbir. Allahu Akbar Kabira. Okay, so from Kaira Milk by this is from them. So you have to say Jazakum Allah Khairan. Jazakum Allah Khairan. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is iBeauty and this is iStyle. iStyle is our segment of the show that brings to you lifestyle tips and tricks the halal way. On iStyle today, we'll be talking about activities that help you to relieve stress and unwind. So there is this 20-day mood booster challenge I stumbled on over the weekend I thought to share. I will be sharing with you tips to last you for seven days and we continue next week, inshallah. Day one. Have an early night. The importance of sleep cannot be overemphasized. Sleep keeps your heart healthy. Your heart will be healthier if you get between seven and nine hours of sleep each night. Sleep may help prevent cancer. Did you know that people who work the late shift have a higher risk of developing breast and colon cancer? Researchers believe light exposure reduces melatonin levels. Melatonin is a hormone that regulates the sleep-wake cycle. It's thought to protect against cancer as it appears to suppress the growth of tumors. Sleep reduces stress and inflammation. Sleep makes you more alert. Sleep improves your memory and may help you lose weight. The list goes on and on. Day two, call a loved one. Everyone has that one person that they genuinely love to always talk to. This helps to unwind, reduce the burden of keeping so much in, relieve stress and have a good laugh. Day three, write three things you are grateful for. We usually focus all our energy on the things that we do not have and forget all the things that Allah has blessed us with. Reflecting back at the things we are grateful for gives us a better sense of gratitude. You realize that there's a lot to be grateful for and your mood is elated. Day four, go for a walk. Walking releases natural pain-killing endorphins to the body, one of the emotional benefits of exercise. A California State University Long Beach study showed that the more steps people took during the day, the better their moods were. This also helps to reduce weight, improve circulation, support your joints, and a host of other benefits. Day five, set one clear goal. This helps to put things into better perspective and helps you to achieve all your goals, a goal at a time. This positivity helps to boost your mood. Day six, 
cook your favorite food. When you cook for yourself or other people, you're setting an achievable goal for yourself. Getting creative in the kitchen can have positive effects on your mental health. Cooking at home requires patience across multiple steps. It means taking the time to mince garlic, onion, and ginger for optimal flavor, or waiting for vegan cookies to cool before taking the first bite. Cooking for others can be an extremely rewarding experience that helps build your self-esteem. Lastly, day seven, celebrate a small win. Celebrating small wins is an important way to track incremental achievements and work towards much larger goals. Plus, it makes you feel good more often. In a study of how everyday life inside organizations can influence a person's performance, researchers analyzed nearly 12,000 diary entries from 238 employees across seven companies. They found that capturing small wins every day enhances a worker's motivation. Simply recording progress in some way helps to boost self-confidence and can be put to use toward future successes. Do not wait until you achieve that big break before you celebrate a win. Doing that lifts your spirit. That will be all on today's episode of iStyle. I do hope that every one of us would participate in this seven day mood booster challenge to continue next week, inshallah. Please share your experience on our Instagram handle, IBC Inspire. We're going to take a quick break now. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back. had an amazing time on the show today. As usual, we'll be rounding up the program with I Rhymes. I remain yours, Adiban Johamida. So we'll come your way again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. See the 
the same soul inside. We cross the deepest water, find a place for.